Hi guys, Rich here from Smack Talk, uh, coming to you from my capsule in Akihabara, Tokyo. Uh, very, very quick reaction video for Wrestle Kingdom 12 before I do a full analysis of it when I get home on the uh, 11th of January. So, not going to break down all the matches, not going to give you any real analysis here, this is just purely reaction. Wow. Um, going into the Tokyo Dome for the first time, was insane like I ended up feeling total system shock from just the size of the place the overwhelming brightness of the screens compared to the darkness around me um, the height of where we were the just overall feeling of being there and knowing what I was going to see is like nothing I've ever felt in my life um, I've been to rock concerts, festivals, wrestling events before, but nothing on this scale. Um, just incredible. 35,000 people in that building. Um, the stage, the size of the stage was just unearthly. The feel, You could feel the heat from the pyro at the back of the arena. Like, just unreal. And it f didn't feel like I was there. I, f I was saying to some of the other Gaijin Club, uh, which was our little foreigners group that was all sat together, um, Gaijin Club, all of us were just starstruck and spellbound and just loving every minute of it. Um, I can't even begin to describe the feeling other than system shock. The whole card, top to bottom, phenomenal like there's not one bad match on the card i've seen the reactions on the internet to the jay white match i disagree i think it was perfect i think he in jay white um he delivered an incredible promo at the fan fest on the third he described in great detail how he was going to destroy the knee he did just that he went straight after it he was just a stone-cold killer and carried himself with a gravitas that I have not seen in a guy of his age ever. Like, the guy is legitimately a badass and I can see him leading Bullet Club one day. I can see him being huge. So, yeah, that's my feeling on that match. Um, as I said, I will give you a proper breakdown of the matches when I get home. The spoiler warnings now come for the main events because I will talk about those in a bit more detail now just because of the matches that they were. I have to start with Omega versus Jericho. Alpha versus Omega was everything you wanted it to be and more. The entrances were so cool. Jericho did all of his stuff. He came out with his light-up jacket on, the scarf. He didn't have the list, obviously. Um, the countdown was there. He walked out to Judas, you know, his, his track with Fozzy. I wanted Fozzy to be there playing him to the ring, which would have been insane. But unfortunately, that wasn't to be. We in the Gaijin Club also talked about uh, WWE stars transitioning over and doing run-ins. Perhaps, you know, Finn Balor... Gallows and Anderson, AJ, like we were, we were hoping secretly, we were hoping for a WWE versus NJPW, uh, in you know not an invasion but a war, would have been very cool, um, but unfortunately that didn't happen. But who cares? The match was insanely good. Uh, both men got some serious offense in. Um, Jericho got thrown over into the announcers area uh, by Don Callis and Kevin Kelly. Omega to the top rope, jumped over the <laughs> over the barricade, crashing Jericho through the announce table, like just amazing spot. They beat the shit out of each other. Jericho destroyed about three or four chairs on Omega. There was blood drawn on Omega. Um, wow. Yeah, phenomenal match. Um... Yeah, I, I won't reveal the result because I don't want to really spoil it, but just go watch it now. 
Um, we had a few good shouts out to him as well with uh, lots of, you know, ask him and he's from Winnipeg, you idiot and all that stuff. So that was really cool. I hope it picked up on the cameras. It probably didn't because the Tokyo Dome's huge, but yeah, great fun. The Gaijin Club were going nuts. And um, obviously the main event, which wasn't, um, it was a dual main event. So, I mean, the, the sheer magnitude of the Omega Jericho match made it the main event. It's what drew 10,000 more fans to the arena than last year's event. So that's pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, uh, Naito versus Okada. Wow. Um, the reaction for Naito was amazing. Like, this guy is so over. He's like Daniel Bryan levels of over in Japan. Um, and the crowd just wanted him to win so badly. So badly. Okada is of a level I have not seen in anybody. Like, he is the single most total, complete wrestler on the planet Earth. Um, he has the speed, the technical, the aerial. He has all of it. He's been all over the planet and just has rounded himself off as the quintessential Japanese superstar. To see the Rainmaker make his entrance, fire all the Okada Yen up into the arena, hitting the ceiling of the arena, still to have it coming down five minutes later uh, was amazing. The match just was breathtaking. Like Both men got in some serious off offence. They were back and forth, and the finish was unexpected but brilliantly delivered um, again not going to tell you the result just because I don't want to spoil it um, but again just I mean just go watch the whole show because it's worth it just start to finish catch it all get it all because this is wrestling this is what it's all about not WWE not Wrestlemania not anything else this is what it's all about. Uh, I loved it, as you can probably tell. And I'm so glad I flew halfway around the planet Earth to be here in Tokyo, at the Tokyo Dome, to have witnessed this whole show. So yeah, go watch it. It will blow your mind. And that's where I'm going to sign off. So, uh, arigato gozaimasu. And I will see you when I get back to the UK in a few days' time after I've experienced more of what Japan has to offer. I love this country. I'm so glad I'm here. I'm happier than a pig in shit right now. <laughs> so I'm going to go and explore, buy some Kit Kats, and just, just enjoying my time here. I'm thankful and blessed to have been able to see that event yesterday. And, yeah, there's only one other thing. Gaijin Club for, 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 for one week. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.